be with you. 30 years ago, the Women of World Day of Prayer Palestine were invited to write on the theme of Come, See, and Act. Since Palestine is the land where Christianity was born, the Women of World Day of Prayer Palestine were invited again to write a program for this year. A group of ecumenical Palestinian Christian women have worked collectively the last four years to pray and reflect on the theme, I beg you, bear with one another in love. Inspired by Ephesians chapter 4 verses 1 to 7. And now they are inviting all people around the world to join them in prayer and action. We gather in the name of the Triune God, Creator, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God be with you. And also, and also, and also with, with you. you. Let us pray. Triune God, walk with us as we journey through the land where you live and talk. Open our eyes to see the present suffering of the inhabitants of this land. Grant us the strength and courage to act and pray with all who suffer around the world. Amen. 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 Let us continue in prayer with the words of Psalm 85. Lord, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave, you forgave the iniquity of, of your people, people are the of their sin. sin. You withdrew all your wrath. You turned from your hot anger. Restore, Restore us, us again, again O God, God of, salvation. of our salvation. Put away your and put away your indignation to what God does. Us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you Will not, you not revive, revive us again, again so that, that, so that, that your people may rejoice in you? In you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Let me, Let let me hear what God, God, the Lord, Lord will, will speak. speak. For he will, for he will he speak to his, to his people, people. His to his, his faithful, faithful to those, to those who turn to, turn to him in their hearts. Their hearts. Their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who hear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast, Steadfast love, love and, and faithfulness, faithfulness to me, righteousness, righteousness, righteousness and peace will kiss each, 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 other. each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord, the Lord will, will give, give what, what is good, good and our land will yield, yield its increase. increase. Righteousness will go before him. And will and make, we'll a, make path a pause make a for, path for his time.
Let us praise God who brings us together to worship in love and unity. Unity, unity in the union God, transcending differences in views and theological interpretations. Let us remember these essential qualities of people of faith, humility, gentleness, patience, and love. We confess, we confess our, our weakness, weakness and failure, failure to accept to others, others without, without judging, judging them. them. With humility and patience, we bear the challenges in our families, society, community, and church. With gentleness and love, love we overcome everything. everything. We, we remain, remain strong, strong in our, in our faith, 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 knowing, knowing that, that we belong, we belong God. to God. Amen. 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 In the 15th chapter of the Gospel of John, Jesus was talking to his beloved disciples in the hours before his crucifixion. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. I am giving you this command so that you may love one another. At a crucial moment of his life, Jesus gave the disciples this commandment, love one another, bear with one another in love. In today's service, we will receive three stories from Palestinian Christian women. Each story is a powerful witness to Jesus' call to bear with one another in love. Let us listen to Elnor's story. My name is Eleonore. My skin is wrinkled like the trunk of an old olive tree. Like them, I have witnessed many wars and violence. I am a Palestinian Christian a member of the Greek Orthodox Church in the Holy Land. I come from a deeply rooted old Jerusalem family. In the early 19th century, my great-grandfather established the St. George's Orthodox Church, which enabled Christians living outside of the city walls to have a place to worship. That church remained in existence until the catastrophe, or Nakba, of 1948 when 750,000 Palestinians were forced to flee, disperse, and become refugees. My family was included. Due to heavy shelling and bombardment, my parents ran for their lives. They took shelter at my mother's cousin's home, hoping to return soon to their original home and St. George's Church. That never happened. Today, my parents' home and St. George's Church have become the Confederation House, an Israeli cultural center. Prior to fleeing, my parents' Jewish neighbors offered to store the treasures of the church, including icons and precious communion cups. They promised to safeguard my parents' property and belongings until the family's return. As my brothers and I were growing up, my parents remembered their neighbors graciously as they waited for the big day of return. They imagined themselves collecting these sacred items and thanking these neighbors for keeping their promise. Sadly, my parents have passed without realizing this dream. And yet, I vividly remember that Despite their pain and suffering over all they had lost, my parents were always thankful and spoke kindly about these Jewish neighbors. My parents taught me how to bear with others in love and always remembering to be grateful for those who do good. As I have gone through life as a Palestinian Christian living in Jerusalem, I have chosen to be fully engaged with all members of the community at the local and global levels. I learned from my parents' example how important it is to stay together with others even when life is harsh and difficult. My commitment to my community started when I was in sixth grade. My Arabic teacher engaged me in running errands for her humanitarian work. She was gentle and loving 
which helped me grow to value and love working to make life better for others. Later in life, I designed and implemented humanitarian aid and development programs as well as social and community projects. These programs and projects served all people, regardless of religion, ethnicity, gender, status, or need. I was privileged to help hundreds of women in Jerusalem, the Gaza Strip, and the West Bank to sustain their families as breadwinners. Many of these projects have grown and spread to other areas, positively impacting many lives. Life has not always been easy. I have setbacks, obstacles, and even threats. However, I firmly believe that our community can be strong together if there is genuine love, understanding, gentleness, humility, and patience. Since my childhood, I have known that life is fragile and peace is not a guarantee. I could have left the country of my roots, but I made the choice to stay and live out Jesus' commandment to love others as God has loved me. The scripture theme this year comes from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. I therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling which you have been called with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. We will now take a few minutes to reflect on the ways that God is moving us to bear together with others in love. وأطلب إليكم أن تسلكوا متحملين بعضكم في المحبة وأطلب إليكم أن تسلكوا متحملين بعضكم في المحبة I urge you to be patient with the calling you receive तुमसे विनती करता हूँ कि जिस बुलाहट से तुम बुलाए गए थे 
उसके योग्य चाल चलो एबल बुइको को बेचो ले बोलो लो का ना कुछ उसे ले मामे लाने ले बे ले मामे लो का मिशा कले बाकला ले रातो ला लूना ऐसे बने आ इरा बतोगे मते मत कितने चिकाए ओके कि वायराए ते ताओ कुता यंग आते वायरुआर इते रुरु ओते आउ वियना स्कूनस इर वियना दोसे कि पर ऐसे तो पशुक्ते इर वियना सब पशुक्ते मोवेल्टी आ उन सा सेनोर उम सा फे उन सा बचीज يوجد إله واحد وأب واحد للكل وهو سيد الكل ويستخدم الكل وهو في الكل. Let us listen now to Lena's story. My name is Lena. On May 11, 2022, I lost my auntie Shirin, a famous journalist who was killed in Germany. For me, Auntie Shirin was like a branch of an olive tree. Resisting the strong winds that threatened to erase the truth of Palestine experience, when Andy Shirin died, Palestine lost an icon, a legend, and a famous A.L. Tshira journalist. And yet, Shirin is all of the above and more. She was only my auntie, my court mother at baptism, and my best friend. Shirin has been my role model for as long as I can remember. She was also a role model to many young Palestinian women. Growing up, I aspired to be as successful, professional, and empathetic as her. I would cherish all the moments I spent with her, talking about art, politics, and life, watching shows, going on vacations. And spending time with the family. For 25 years, Aunt Shirin dedicated her life to telling the story of Palestine experience and to being the voice of truth. She ended every house in Palestine and the Arab world through the TV screen. The day of her funeral was proof that she had also ended the hearts of Palestinians. The outpouring of solidarity we witnessed at her funeral will forever be ingrained in, in my memory and the collective memory of Palestine. We are forever grateful to the strong and courage Palestine who resisted the threats from Israel forces and carried Sharon's casket on their shoulders. Many people did not know. That my auntie was a Palestinian Christian. Sharon's faith led her to bear with all in love, despite differences in faith traditions. She stood with all who were being harmed. She struggled 
for both Muslims and Christians to have access to the holy site in Jerusalem. Her truth was even a way of bearing with the occupiers in love. Speaking the truth is a form of lying, resisting, because it's caused to oppress the back to the human duty. Although Sharin a prawns of the olive tree was cut down through stone, her legacy lives on. Her memory now nourished to earth from which we will gain strength to continue telling the truth and demanding justice. Hearing the story of a woman who dared to speak the truth in love, let us commit ourselves to this journey as she did. <laughs>
gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, we now pray for women everywhere, for the world and for those in need. After each petition you will hear, lead us into a life worthy of our calling. You are invited to respond. Hear our prayer. Let us pray. God of righteousness, bless us and make us witness of peace and justice. Open our eyes so that we can see things as you do. Protect us from all forms of violence, hurt, and revenge. We pray especially for women who are denied education and other basic rights. We pray for women who are abused and suffer violence. We pray that our churches, as well as our governments, will create safe spaces, or safe places for women. Help us to raise our voices and use our gifts and talents to help others. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear, hear our, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Refugee God, who as a child had to flee a massacre in Bethlehem, you know the plight of refugees and the displaced. Remain with us and help us in these dark and difficult times. Guide and protect refugees and displaced people. Bring them to places of safety. Open the hearts of those receiving refugees and guide the actions of political leaders so that all needs will be met. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear our prayer. God, our rock, you have taught us to build your lives on you. We pray for those who are homeless. We pray especially with Palestinian families whose homes have been demolished or are threatened to be demolished by Israeli authorities. Bring these families justice and end this evil practice. Lead us into a life worthy of your calling. Hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God of peace, we pray for an end to the Israeli occupation and for a just solution to the ongoing oppression. We also pray for the city of Jerusalem, sacred to three religions of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. We pray for equality, freedom of religion, freedom of movement, and freedom of expression. Teach us Christians to follow the way of Jesus, sharing love with all the inhabitants of the land, lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Healing and sustaining spirit, we pray for all those who are sick, who are dying and who are grieving. We pray for scientists and doctors who develop vaccines and treatments for COVID-19 virus and other diseases. When we were lost and worried, strengthen us. When we are lost and worried, strengthen us. Revive our dry branches so that they yield good fruits again. Give us new life and hope of the resurrection. Lead us into the life, lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear our prayer. God of mercy, we have carelessly destroyed your beautiful creation. We have harmed the environment, the flora and fauna, and the creatures of the air, land and water. Our destruction of the earth has caused the climate crisis. Help us to appreciate and love your creation. Help us to repair what we have destroyed. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear our, yeah, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of unity, your child, Jesus, pray that your disciples and followers will be one as you are one. Teach us, your servants, to treat others justly, fairly, and with love even though we may speak live and pray differently. Bless the global church and bless the faithful woman everywhere who share your good news with others. 
lead us into a life worthy of your our calling. Hear our prayer. prayer. How can we thank you, loving God? We know that all our blessings come from you. Do not keep us far from you. Give us grace according to the measure of Christ's gifts and fill our hearts with joy. We offer these prayers and the prayers of our hearts known only to you, trusting that you hear and answer them. In the name of God, Creator, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We continue now with the prayer that Jesus taught us. This prayer calls us to bear with one another in love through all the difficulties of life. Abun beshemayo netka adashemu ti. My name is Sarah. Sometimes I feel like the leaf on an olive tree connected to the roots blooming from within. I was born and raised in Jerusalem as a Lutheran Christian. Life as a Palestinian woman surely had been and still is challenging. I am glad that things are changing in society through my church by having ordained the first female pastor. Throughout the years, I have seen and admired the persistence of Palestinians. My own family history is connected to our Palestinian history, which is the case for many. I want to share a story with you that shows what it means to be a Palestinian in our land. My grandparents used to live in Jaffa. They grew up there before 1948, living alongside other Christians, Muslims and Jews. When the State of Israel was created in 1948, it was a catastrophe for Palestinians who had lived on the land for thousands of years. We call this catastrophe the Nakba. The Israeli forces came to my grandparents' home and kicked them out by force. This caused my grandparents to become refugees in Jordan. Many years later, my grandparents came for a visit to Jerusalem and my parents took me and my sibling on a trip to Jaffa. They were excited to show us the home they used to live in. My grandpa told us stories about his childhood and how he used to plant trees with his father. In fact, that's how we found the house. Everything had changed, changed except for the trees, which helped us to identify the place. Sadly, the people currently living in the house were hostile towards us. I was quite young, but I do remember them shouting and kicking us away from the house. 
It wasn't like we wanted to go into the house, we were just viewing it from the outside. My grandpa was trying to explain to them and telling them that this used to be his house. However, they refused to hear any part of it and chased us away. The feeling must have been even worse for my grandfather, being kicked out of his own house twice. Later in time, when I visited my grandparents in Jordan, my grandma showed me the keys that her mom had kept when leaving the house. She kept the keys with the hope that one day they would be able to return to their home. Sadly, this is the case for many. Following the two Nakbas on 1948 and 1967, and even until today, people are still being kicked out of their homes. Many have kept, have kept their keys with the hope of return, a hope that is passed on through many generations. I know that the tree from where I come is strong and resilient. I am nourished by the love of my ancestors. I can bear with others in love because they did. Their love is what made me bloom as the leaf on an olive tree. Their love has helped me become strong and resilient. In the midst of injustices, wars, and suffering, God calls us to bear together in love. When we stay together through difficulty, we live into the peace that God promises us. Take a moment now to share the peace of Christ. If you are with another person, you can share with them. You can also write a note or send a text or email to someone you know. You could place your hand on your heart and offer a blessing to the world. However, at this moment, Open yourself to giving and receiving the peace that God promises. Thank you. Please join me in speaking aloud the commitments of your heart. May we, May we commit, commit to, to working for peace as, as we stand with all women, particularly those experiencing oppression, oppression violence, or discrimination. Or discrimination. May we, be, may we be faithful advocates with the decision makers working on all, on all levels of society, including religious institutions. Bear with one another. May we, may we bear with one another in love, love until God's justice and power reign throughout the whole world. Let us go now and be agents of peace and justice. Amen. We now conclude our service by sharing in the words of Psalm 85 together and then the blessing that God gave to his faithful people. I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servants. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him that his glory may dwell in our land. The Lord bless us and keep us. May his face shine upon us, be gracious to us, and give us his peace. Let us all say, Amen and Amen.